Surfing the Internet Learning Plan What is the Internet? Evolution of the Internet Requirements to access the Internet Internet Terms Searching Engine Emailing Hey Mighty, in previous class I have learnt that Internet is used to search images. Besides this, what can we do with the Internet? Good question, Mindy. With the help of Internet, you can do different types of works. Let's see how. What is the Internet? In simple terms, the Internet is just a whole bunch of computers around the world connected together. Millions of computers linking people from hundreds of different countries and cultures forming a massive network full of human knowledge. Marketing and entertainment can be called the Internet. The Internet also allows you to communicate easily with any other Internet user via email. Evolution of the Internet When the original conceptual foundation of the Internet was laid back in the 50s, no one had the slightest idea of how far this project would go. At those insecure post-war times of alienation and deepening political division, the vision of the Internet as we see it today was like living in a science fiction movie. Starting as a military project in the United States, it quickly became very popular in several other countries. Time Event 1960 AT&T introduces the data phone and the first known modem. 1966 Robert Taylor joins ARPA and brings Larry Roberts there to develop ARPA in it. 1968 Larry Roberts publishes ARPA Net program plan on June 3, 1968. 1974, a commercial version of ARPA Net known as Telenet is introduced and considered by many to be the first Internet service provider, ISP. 1991, Tim Berners-Lee introduces WWW to the public on August 6, 1991. 1995, on August 16, 1995, Microsoft introduces and releases Microsoft Internet Explorer. 1996. More email is sent than postal mail in USA. 2003. On June 30, 2003, the Safari browser is released. 2004. On November 9, 2004, Mozilla releases the Mozilla Firefox browser. In 2008, December 11, 2008, Google comes up with a Google Chrome. Requirements to access the Internet A computer To connect to the Internet, we need a PC with a powerful processor with sufficient RAM and processing speed. It should also have the basic requirements of a good operating system and a browser software. A browser software an Internet browser like Internet Explorer, which is part of the Windows operating system, or Mozilla Firefox or Chrome, which can be downloaded free from the Internet. An Internet Connection We require an Internet connection from an Internet Service Provider, ISP, Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited, BSNL, Airtel, MTNL, IDEA are some ISPs which provide us with Internet connectivity. A Telephone Modem a telephone modem is a device that converts the signals from your computer into a series of sounds and transmits them across the phone line. A telephone modem on the other side of the connection converts these sounds back to a signal the computer can understand, allowing the computers to communicate. Network Interface Card Broadband connections provide much faster access to the Internet than narrowband connections. There are multiple types of broadband connections, including DSL, satellite and cable access. Each of these types of access involves connecting to an access point using either a wired Ethernet connection or a wireless connection. A network interface card, NIC, allows you to connect an Ethernet cable to your computer from an access point. Uses of Internet Internet has been the most useful technology of the modern times, which helps us not only in our daily lives, but also our personal and professional lives. The Internet helps us achieve this in several different ways. Education It also is a popular medium used by students. 
Many students use it for educational purposes, like for finding study material or for applying to some college or university. It is now a virtual world, and all the applications are done online through the website of the concerned educational body. Students use websites for this and many other purposes, like checking exam results, exam schedule, application procedure to any course, etc. Students also take the help of the internet to complete project and to obtain the required images. Everything is just a click away from us. Entertainment. Another popular use of the internet is for entertainment. Facilities like listening to online music, downloading music, and movies provide a platform for entertainment. There are plenty of other ways through which you can entertain yourselves. You can play online games, view sports matches, or watch videos of your choice. It is a trusted means of entertainment for these kinds of purposes and is extensively used for the same. Communication and networking. The use of the internet for networking is very popular among all age groups. There are many good social networking websites that are used by people for communication. These websites provide an effective and easy platform that facilitates interaction. It is widely used as a means of communication through means like networking websites, chat websites, blogs, etc. Internet banking and shopping. It is popularly used for banking. Almost all the banking transactions are possible through this medium. Apart from these common uses, it can also be used for shopping. Online shopping is very popular among masses, and on the internet you can buy anything and it gets delivered at home. There are also many people who use it to work from home. Software update Internet is also used to upgrade the software and use special software to work on the projects and documentation works as the internet enables the user to download a myriad of different software for a variety of different purposes, making it much easier than buying the costly software CDs. E-commerce in its simplest form, e-commerce is the buying and selling of products and services by businesses and consumers over the Internet. People use the term e-commerce to describe encrypted payments on the Internet. Internet sales are increasing rapidly as consumers take advantage of low prices offered by wholesalers retailing their products. This trend is said to strengthen as websites address consumer security and privacy concerns. Some e-commerce websites are HTTP semicolon slash slash www dot morphica dot jp slash HTTP semicolon slash slash www dot mean mommy to be dot com HTTP semicolon slash slash www dot big brown box dot com dot au slash HTTP semicolon slash slash www dot snapdeal dot com http semicolon slash slash www dot kido dot co dot z slash internet terms web page and website Web pages are resources of information. They are generally created in the HTML format and provide the web users with navigational abilities through hyperlinks to other web pages on the web. A website is a set of web pages consisting of text, audio and video. Web servers host websites. It is a collection of interlinked documents that are accessible over the Internet. It consists of millions of web pages that contain text, images, voice and videos. Sir Tim Berners-Lee, a British scientist working at CERN, created the World Wide Web. Web Browser A web browser contains the basic software you need in order to find, retrieve, view and send information over the Internet. This includes software that lets you send and receive electronic mail or email messages worldwide nearly instantaneously read messages from news groups or forums about thousands of topics in which users share information and opinions. Browse the World Wide Web or web where you can find a rich variety of text, graphics and interactive information.
The most popular browsers are Microsoft Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and Netscape Navigator. The appearance of a particular website may vary slightly depending on the browser you use. Search engine. A search engine is a software which helps to search for information on the internet by using the keywords entered by the user. A search engine is particularly useful when we do not know the URLs of the sites we are searching. URLs of some popular search engines are www.google.com, www.bing.com, www.altavista.com, www.yahoo.com, www.asked emailing. To send and receive emails, you need to have an email account. Gmail is really smart email service that boasts not only of a huge and growing amount of email storage, but also offers an intelligent approach to messaging that always lets you stay abreast of your inbox and see the relevant emails. Using Gmail account, sign in. Enter the username and password and click sign in. Your email account opens up as shown below. Inbox. The inbox shows all the mails received by us. The sender's name, subject, date, time are all displayed. To view an email, we have to click on it. Compose mail. Click on compose mail to write an email. A new window opens up where we can type the address of the person we are sending the email. It doesn't show email ID if contact is in your list. The subject of the email and the contents of the mail. Click the send button to send the email. Some more. Email was adapted for our planet by Ray Tomlinson of BBN in nineteen hundred seventy-two. Sent mail. Click on send mail to check if the mail has been sent. Sent messages. Replying to messages. To reply to a message, just click in the box below the message and type away, or you can click the arrow icon in the top right corner of the message you received. Tick the correct option.